Iraqi Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki firmly rejected calls by those at home and abroad for him to step down in favor of a less sectarian Iraqi leadership. The call for forming a national emergency government, as they like to call it, is simply an attempt by some in the opposition to launch a coup against our political process in order to destroy it. Speaking in Brussels, John Kerry seemed untroubled by the Iraqi Prime Minister's statement. With respect to the Prime Minister's remarks about a so-called salvation government, that is not something that I discussed with him. That is not something that uh, was on the table in the context of our meetings while we were there. In fact, there was no discussion that I had with any of the leaders there regarding a so-called salvation government. Uh, and I've heard reports about it, but I'm not sure exactly what it is that he rejected or spoke to. The U.S. insists all at once is for Maliki to be more inclusive as he begins forming a new government next week. The problem is the numerous reports of U.S. officials attempting to convince Iraqi politicians to ditch Maliki and unite behind someone Washington can trust. What is needed is an, is an inclusive, at least this is in the view of the Americans. So they are trying to get Maliki to go, they are trying to get somebody else. A group of U.S. forces described as advisors are reported to have begun consultations with Iraqi commanders. The Pentagon says they will be evaluating the situation on the ground over the next several weeks. The UN Special Representative for Iraq announced that at least 1,300 have been killed in Iraq and 1,250 wounded. However, he said the capital appeared safe for now. On the military front, we believe that uh, the advancement of ISIL towards Baghdad has stalled. Um, at this point, the city is well saturated with Iraqi security forces. The rebels say that their positions on the Al Qaim border crossing were hit by Syrian jets. They've posted this video. But there's no independent verification of the footage or the allegation that Syrian fighters were involved. Shihabrutansi, Al Jazeera.